It was with reluctance that I decided the country needs this election. But it is with strong conviction that I say it is necessary to secure the strong and stable leadership the country needs to see us through Brexit and beyond. It was the announcement no one was really expecting. For months, all we've heard echoing from Westminster is no snap general election. So it's been quite a shock for everyone. It's been an absolutely massive surprise. No one saw this coming. Um, Theresa May is well known for playing her cards very close to her chest. She's got a team of a small team of very close advisers around her. So doubtless they would have been talking about this for some time. But even so, you would still expect that you know in the Westminster bubble things would leak. People would have an inkling of what's happening. We would have seen little hints of this in the previous week or certainly in the last few days. And there's been absolutely nothing. If political types were shocked, then what about the people of Norwich? A bit of a surprise, but I'm quite delighted that she's doing this because we're in a hell of a state at the moment. There's a lot of uns uh, instability and uncertainty around at the moment. I think this will just add to it. I personally think she's doing a good job and we should all back her and give her a bit more time. I am surprised. I think it's fantastic. It's about time she did call an election just to prove that she'll get in again. So where do we stand going into this election? At the moment, Norfolk's a sea of blue constituencies. Henry Bellingham in northwest Norfolk, Liz Truss in southwest, Keith Simpson in Broadland, George Freeman in mid Norfolk, Richard Bacon in the south, Brandon Lewis in Yarmouth, and Chloe Smith in Norwich North. Then for Labour, there's Clive Lewis in Norwich South, and Norman Lamb up in North Norfolk for the Liberal Democrats. And after the nationwide split caused by Brexit, their one party hoping to benefit. It is a welcome surprise. Came out of the blue, was, did not see this happening. But it's a good opportunity for the Liberal Democrats to get out there and tell the country, remind the country that we're the only party that's wholeheartedly in favour of remaining and we'll do whatever we can to uh, really you know, get the message across to those people who voted remain last June. The move to call an election will have to be voted through in Parliament tomorrow by a two-thirds majority because at the moment the fixed-term Parliament Act means each government should last for five years. Labour have moved to support the election already, suggesting tomorrow's vote will be a done deal. Mike Stonard from Labour in Norwich says they're all for it. When you look at what this government are doing, they're taking actions for which they've got no mandate. And one of the things we repeatedly say is that Theresa has no, May has no mandate for a lot of what she's doing. So a hard Brexit, crashing out of the single market, all of that, leaving the customs union. That was never, in fact, it said the reverse in the Tory manifesto of the 2015 election. Um, so I think it's really good that she's uh, going to go to the people and seek a mandate. And of course, we want to take the fight to the Tories. It seems, though, the snap election has taken everyone by surprise but they're ready to fight for your vote. I never hold a great deal of faith by the polls. I believe in doing, doing the work on the doorsteps and succeeding in, in that way. So um, whether there's a good time or a bad time, we'll, we'll deal with it. We've been likened to the Conservatives in many ways, but we are completely different animals you know, across the board. And I think it's time we try to put more of our domestic policies in place instead of the same old, same old banging on the European drum. Like, there's lots to offer. Um, we just need to make sure the public are aware of it. The Greens will be strong on environmental protection and we'll be looking to pursue the environmental protection rules that are benefited by being in the European Union. The Green Party was, of course, for staying in the European Union and uh, we will also be pursuing our local campaign on air quality. Air quality is not something that just affects Norwich, it affects every big city in the country and everybody who goes anywhere. So the parties have got about 50 days to battle it out for your votes. But before that, there's the small matter of the local county council elections on the 4th of May. Neil Perry, Mustard TV, Norwich.